In the previous section, we saw the power, speed, and convenience of using smart shapes to create our diagrams. And in this section, we will see how to round everything up and add all the finishing touches required to create a fantastic diagram. This lesson will focus on adding text to your shapes and diagrams and the different tools to do this. Jumping right in, I will double click on the first shape and start entering its text. That's all that is required to add text. Just double click and you will be in the editing mode for the text of a shape. And notice that Visio nicely zoomed in automatically and also centralized the diagram for you so that you will be able to see what you are typing better. I have added start to this shape and when I am done, I just need to click outside on the white space. Do not use tab or press enter on the keyboard to, to come out of editing as that will just add a new line or a tab character into the text. Instead, you have to click out of your shape. I will continue to add text to the other shapes one by one. In the next process shape, you saw that as I was typing in, Visio will wrap the words around automatically to best fit the text in the shape. I did not press the enter key. In the diamond shaped decision box next, I am going to type in the text and also use enter keys to position text exactly how I want it. Similarly, I will type in the text for the remaining shapes also. Just remember that you can do every type of formatting that you want to the text that you add to the shapes, like changing fonts, colors, size, bold, italics, underline, cross out and so on. All of those controls are right here on the home tab under the font section. Great. Now we have added text to all the shapes in the diagram, but the arrows coming out of the decision box still do not have their labels. To do this, just double click on the connector, exactly like how you did with the shapes earlier. And Visio provides an automatic label on the connector for you to add text. Remember, this is available for all the connectors and not just for those coming out of the decision boxes. We are now all done except for a heading for the page. To do this, I will adjust the zoom back to fit the page and then change the ribbon tab to insert. Here, I just want to insert a simple text box. I will click on the text box button and pull out a text box on my diagram and then fill in the heading. Now, there are much better ways to add headings than with the text box in Visio. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is to add text boxes. Later on, we will add a much better heading to the diagram.